Welcome to a special edition of the TV5 Vault. I'm Blake Keller. 40 years ago, almost to the day, the nation's eyes and ears were turned to Farwell in Clare County after police discovered the bodies of seven people, all from the same family. TV5 had team coverage of the crime that rocked that small town for decades to come. Take a listen. Good evening, everyone. Clare County authorities and a state crime lab investigator are in Jasper, Tennessee tonight to bring the main suspect in the Farwell murders back to Michigan. Meanwhile, the quiet community of Farwell is relieved that a suspect is in custody in the gruesome slayings. We have two reports, starting with Jim Mishler. Clare County Sheriff Gus Alec, joined by an investigator from his department, arrived at Tri-City Airport just before noon today to leave for Tennessee and prepare to bring Robert Haggard back to Michigan. Haggard was spotted by a businessman in Alabama early yesterday, and he was arrested in Jasper, Tennessee, several hours later. He did not resist arrest. But Haggard might not be returned to Michigan to stand trial for the seven murders as soon as the sheriff would like. Uh, we received a message from Sheriff Hood in Jasper. Uh, Mr. Haggard has uh, re refused to uh, waive extradition. I've got the governor's warrant in process. One of my men is going to hand deliver it to Lansing and walk it through so that maybe we can get it and bring it back sometimes next week. The request for extradition has been received at the governor's office, and the paperwork could be completed by tomorrow or Monday at the latest. Sheriff Alec expects to be in Tennessee for two or three days. Enough time to interview Haggard, also interview the woman who was found with Haggard at the time of his arrest, and to prepare for the extradition proceedings. In Saginaw, Jim Mishler, News 5. Murder sent shockwaves through this close-knit community. Surviving members went into seclusion for, among other reasons, safety. But now that Robert Haggard, the prime suspect, has been captured, there's a feeling of relief. Well, we're glad they caught him. We just hope they can pin enough iron to keep him. Expressions of grief are everywhere. Dollars for flowers being collected throughout the community on the faces of the residents. But the tears of sorrow are giving way to an outpouring of rage. Rage centered at suspected murderer Robert Haggard. I'd like to see capital punishment. In this case? Yes, sir. How do you feel about Michigan having a death penalty? I wish they had it. I'm a very strong believer in a life for life, especially in a case like this. Once Haggard is returned here, he'll be met by the open arms of the law. In the meantime, final funeral arrangements are being made for the families, and this community is reaching out, lending a helping hand, trying to cope with this tragedy the best they can. But as one person said, how do you cope with something like that? Doug Bunsey, News 5, Farwell. Now, don't forget this month, I took a deep dive into the Clare County murders of 1982. We spoke to former attorneys, corrections officers, and others. Check out our website and YouTube channel for that story. And thanks again for joining us for this special edition of the TV5 Vault. I'm Blake Keller.